Hey, hey, YouTubers, this is Chris coming at you. Hey, uh, what's going on, man? Hey, I'm still with Gordon Trucking. Uh, gonna be with them, uh, hopefully, for, you know, a little while. Um, they're a good company. It just, you know, they got a couple, um, couple, um, of, um, uh, policies that I don't like, you know. And, uh, that's, that's fine. You know, that's alright. Every company's got a policy or two that some of you don't like, and um, it happens, you know. Um, so, you know, and, and really the only way around that is, I guess, if you're an owner-operator, but, you know, a bunch of BS about owner-operating, too. So, uh, but yeah, uh, I'm hoping to uh, stay with the company for a while. Uh, trying to team up with uh, the guy I had teamed up with before, because um, uh, well, he's a good guy, you know. I like the guy, and uh, um, he called me and said, "You want to team back up?" So uh, I said, "Okay, we'll do that." Uh, and yeah, if you're watching, but we'll get there. We'll get there. Um, but uh, him and I, we ran, uh, we ran our, our butts off, man. I mean, we ran pretty hard. Now, uh, in the split week, we did 6,666. Uh, and uh, I'm hoping to make that uh, 6,000 miles in one week. So we'll, we'll see. I mean, it's, it's a goal for me uh, to do that with the team. Uh, right now, I'm, I'm solo uh, still. Uh, probably for another uh, week, um, maybe, uh, we'll see, maybe a couple of days, I don't know. But anyway, uh, uh, I think all my city now is, is done, well, I'll take it back. All the repairs on the, on the truck uh, right now are done. So, truck should not have any problems. It, you just got fixed yesterday, uh, all the rest of the crap got done. Couple weeks ago, a week ago. So anyway, that's that's all done. Uh, I made so far roughly thousand miles, uh, which isn't good, but uh, it's climbing. Um, they got me for some reason sitting uh, to get this load that uh, picks up tomorrow. I got here yesterday. So I sat yesterday, and now all day today, I get the load uh, tomorrow. Uh, pick up the load tomorrow, which will be Sunday, and don't deliver until the 29th, uh, so, which is on, a, I don't know, Tuesday or Wednesday, something like that. Um, so, uh, I'll be uh, where it got, where it has to deliver. I'm going to be there actually a day or two before it delivers. So, who knows? I might get lucky. They might let me drop it in the yard, give me another load and go out. But, um, actually, it works out pretty good, though, because uh, if my boss says, okay, I'm going to go ahead and team me up this week, then that will be the, where the load's got to uh, deliver at. Uh, which is in Clackamas, Oregon, uh, is a good place to meet up. Because uh, it's a terminal, I can turn this truck in there and uh, clear my stuff out and jump on his truck um, and get rolling and make some more money. And my home time is on the 1st, but I will extend that out uh, and go when he goes on on time, which would be a week or two after, so, which is fine. And I could deal with that. As long as I'm only making money, I'm happy. My check uh, a few days ago was only like 100 bucks. And that's nothing. You know, nothing. Uh, I can't support a family on that. So, uh, I'm going to express that to my boss when I call him on Tuesday and say, look, man, you got to get rolling. You know, you got to comply with me. If you can't comply with me, Sayonara, man. You know, I hate to do that. You know, I hate to do it. Gordon really is a good company. Gordon is a really good company to work for. Um, 
they are changing some things. And I'm hoping that one of the, the policies I don't like, they change it a little bit, you know. Um, but uh, as far as paying everything goes, they're going to, uh, I heard they're going to change that, that everything is all going to be revamped. So uh, let's hope it's for the better. Um, but uh, when, when I delivered the uh, last load that I had, uh, they moved my appointment time and they didn't tell me. Okay, that's fine. Somebody boo booed in dispatch. That's that's fine. I don't care. Um, so I sat there and waited two hours. I put my detention pay an hour after I was there. So two hours after I put that in, I started getting paid 10 or 15 bucks. Uh, I think it's 15 bucks per um, per um, per hour. So. I made probably 30 bucks uh, that day in detention pay, uh, plus miles, I made about maybe uh, $200, $300 uh, for the miles, um, uh, and then plus the other loads I got scanned in, so I'm probably going to make about a 400 maybe uh, five, six hundred dollars uh, 400 to $600 check, maybe, I don't know, something like that, Oops, something like that, be right back, guys, okay, uh, so, yeah, it's something like that, um, but, uh, I'm looking, uh, when I team up to make about, maybe, uh, between six to a thousand a week, um, and I think that could be done, um, we're getting messages over the Qualcomm saying, uh, loads are slow in some areas, uh, but, like, just parts of, uh, uh, I think LA or parts of California, somewhere, uh, it's really busy. So I think uh, if we team up and they're really busy with that freight, um, then we're probably going to be running I 5 mostly, and that's mostly what I run anyway. You know, um, they, right now they, got, they have me run uh, uh, the 80 up to Salt Lake. Uh, and then from Salt Lake, right now I'm in uh, Ogden, Utah. So uh, I pick up an Ogden and then I deliver it over to um, uh, Clackamas, Oregon. Uh, so I'll be doing 84 and 15 and all that. So then 5. You know. So good little run, you know. But. Um, I thought I'd put this video up, you know, let you guys know what's going on, uh, which I always do. You know, I try to put up a video when I got time. Um, now, uh, you new guys that are out there, um, I think I might have a few that are following me on uh, YouTube. Um, now, uh, these companies, um, uh, let's see, Swift is one, uh, Gordon is another one, uh, let's see, I believe, uh, US Express and a couple other ones, uh, England, I think, uh, has it too. They have the new electronic logs, um, well, the, the newer electronic law um, uh, like, like uh, let's see um, CRC they got the old uh, box the old electronic log box okay I'm talking about some newer model uh, that goes up on your uh, usually up on your dash or your you know your panel in front and uh, looks something like this okay guys uh, it's real busy there <laughs> uh, yeah I did for a second <laughs> um, that's uh, that's the newer Qualcomm and uh, they're kind of a pain in the ass at times uh, they uh like to freeze up and all that, so, but, the, our company's updating them, 
the software. So that's probably why. Little help here uh, on your blogs is uh, like if you go with Gordon, they'll teach you through in your orientation, they're going to show you how to do it. Okay. Which is, you know, your I'm going to put it, I put it down as projected time of arrival. When are you going to get somewhere? And then in there it's going to ask you, okay, you know, what day and what time you're going to get there. You think you're going to get there. Okay. Uh, we got your GPS, you can kind of figure that. Um, so, and then it's going to ask you when you're available after you 
you get there. So you put in the date and time you're available. Usually about 15 minutes to a half an hour you can, after you get there. You, you should be able to, to go. Um, some people put a half an hour, some people put an hour. So it all depends. Because you get there, you got to sign in, you got to get unloaded. Uh, if it's live unloaded, it could be an hour. If it's, uh, which, if you see them again unloading, you know it's going to be longer than an hour. Then you can put in there, you know, hey, change your PTA. You know, I'll be available at this time. Or call your DM. I'm going to be, put my, push my PTA out till this time. And they'll do that. Um, but, you know, that's, that's, that's what that is. But what I'll do is, is, uh, when I team up, uh, with my buddy, um, I will put on uh, a video on how to do the uh, the qualcom, and uh, which I know there's videos out on YouTube to show you how to do the qualcom, but uh, there's not many of them out there. Um, there is one that um, I like. Well, there's two I think on it that I like. Uh, one is from um, from. Uh, Oh man, I forget his name. Drives for cells on. Come on, guys. I know you've seen his videos. Help me out here. I know his name. It's uh, um, Jerry Ott. That's his name. Jerry Ott. Had to pick my brain for a minute, man. It's not good. Um, yeah, Jerry Ott. Look for him. I'll try and post him down below. Uh, a lot of times it don't work, but. Uh, I'll try and post his down there. Um, but uh, he makes a good one. In fact, I'll, I'll try and post that down there so you can watch it. Uh, so you newbies, watch it, okay? And uh, uh, once again, I know I said this before to the new guys that are out there. Um, don't listen to everything you hear about these companies, like what I'm saying. I mean, yeah, I believe some of what I'm saying. But, I'm not saying I'm lying, but, you know, just don't believe everything you hear out there uh, on, on YouTube or, or the Internet or whatever. Um, because it's really a, what the driver makes of it, you know. Uh, and like I said before, you know, Gordon really is a good company. It just, um, you know, a few things I don't like about him. Um, you know, I know I know a couple people that's, that's left Gordon and uh, left him for maybe uh, a month or two and come right back. You know, because well, hey, grass ain't green on the other side, so you know they venture, they try, they fail, they come back, they succeed, right? Well, I'm hoping to succeed with this company. So Gordon is a good company. If you if you guys already have the CDL. And you want to drive solo? Come on out to Gordon. Um, I'll hook you up. I know a couple of good recruiters out here. I met my recruiter uh, at uh, Pacific, and uh, real nice guy. He'll do what he can for you, you know. And uh, just come on over to Gordon. Now, if you want to drive teams. And you have your license, you know, your CDL. You need to have your teammate already. They will not find one for you. Now, CRST, if you want a team and you don't have a teammate, they will find one for you. But you got to make sure you talk to them and everything before you go. Because it could be an ugly mess if you don't. Okay. Hi, right, guys. I got to run. I will talk to you later. I got some paperwork to scan, and um, I'll try and jump back on you later on. But nine times out of ten tonight, not going to happen. Um, you guys take care. I'm going to run my butt off tomorrow, so I'm going to try and go in there. I'm bobtailing into this the shipper. Usually, you bring in the trailer, but I'm uh, TC, which is temperature control, refrigerated team okay so uh, I'm picking uh, this load up which hopefully you should go real smooth go in there pick up the load 
it's going to be a 43,000, over 43,000 pounds. So I'm hoping it's loaded right, and i got to make sure my fuel is filled to where it should be to where I'm not overweight. So, you know, i got those factors. So i got to hopefully hook up to this thing, take it, and uh, I've, already, I've already got a fuel, so I'm good there. And I'm right about where I want to be with this heavy of a uh, load. So I grab it, I come back here, I weigh it, and um, when I weigh it, then I'm, uh, if, if I weigh good, I'm going, I'm running. And I'm going to try and make 500 miles, at least 500 miles to where I got to go. The whole trip is a uh, uh, 790, but I did 40 of them, so, or 50 of them, so roughly about 730, possibly 740 more miles, so, no big deal, I can knock that out in two days, done, simple trip, do it by sleep, okay 